Straight away, can I introduce you to uh, Richmond President, Mr. Chris Mills. Thank you, Hilly. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming down here to our somewhat delayed um, celebration of uh, winning National One. Uh, we've, and thank you very much to Bill Sweeney, the RFU Chief Exec, who's brought the trophy down. I understand he's polished it himself this afternoon, which is great. Thank you, Bill, and uh, he's going to present it later. There are a few other things I'd like to say while I've got your attention. Um, this is a somewhat delayed and somewhat muted celebration for what should have been a huge, I oh, no other word for it, piss up at the end of last season. Um, however, it's also uh, to recognise that we've had an undefeated Viking season. Uh, the Saxons, the Normans, the Jews and the women, they've all enjoyed great seasons, great seasons albeit somewhat uh, curtailed. Uh, but as a club, um, since lockdown, we have worked very hard to keep everything going. Uh, the boards I'd like to thank for their efforts in husbanding our resources. Um, and also lots of other things have been achieved whilst we've all been sitting at home. Um, first Rupert Al Houston over there swam the channel. I have to say the channel, the channel has still not recovered. Well done Rupert, raised a fantastic amount of money. Um, we had the one club appeal, again, raised a fantastic amount of money and um, I won't go on, but we're, we're, we're looking in a good place and Hilly tells me there's some fantastic new players come down uh, for, for the coming season, so that's all looking great. So thank you all very, very much for all your efforts, uh, every one of you uh, through the lockdown. Now, um, Hilly, um, I think you want to say a few words? We'll make the presentations first. So we're going to just make some presentations uh, of um, these fantastic little uh, medals and then the trophy to uh, Cam Mitch uh, and then we'll move on with a few words. Okay. So guys in reverse order in terms of people appearances for the year. So Louis Malloy. Well done. Mole Scott. Yeah. 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 Brian Nixon. Timmy Wolford. Timmy, just to be sure you, you can't eat this. Oh, it's not chocolate. <laughs> not chocolate. David Banfield. Anna. Lewis Dennett. Very proud to sponsor that man. Well done. Toby Dable. Tom Pashley. Alex Bibich. He was quicker during the season. <laughs> Toby Saisal. Where's he got? To the shower, great. Callum Torpy. Uh, and, and then in a tough season, which ended up being 25 games, so Dan Kelly played 20 out of 25. Jamie Gibbs played 22 out of 25. Yeah. And somehow managed to follow the twins at the same time. Well done, Gibbo. 
Anyone? Anyone? Byron Hodge, 23 out of 25. Jake Parker, 23 out of 25. Jimmy Litchfield, 23 out of 25. And then probably most appropriately, 25 out of 25 to our first team captain, Cameron Mitchell. Cam, if you could just hang around here, uh, and if I could ask Phil Sweeney to come up and present the National One Trophy to Cam Mitchell. You somehow have to do this at arm's length, boys. How do we do it? <laughs> <laughs> How do we do it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, congratulations. I uh, just wanted to um, add, add my congratulations to all the players and all the teams for the, for the last season. And as uh, Milsey said, you know, it, it's a great sadness that we weren't able to have a proper party because one of the things we do really well here is party. And I, and I think that's a really important part of what we're about. Uh, the key thing at Richmond is everyone who's involved, whatever level they enjoy their rugby. And, and for those of you, you know, who have come down to, to see us today, that's fantastic. And to let you know, you know, at the moment, we've got an awful lot of players down and, uh, around that involve training two or three times a week. Thursday night we had over 115 adult rugby players, uh, men and women training here, even though there are no fixtures at the moment. We know there are not going to be fixtures now probably till, uh, till January for our sort of Vikings and below. But it just goes to show the effort that uh, those people make and, and want to be involved. And, and two people I want to uh, pick out who've been amazing during this period are, uh, so firstly, uh, Michelle Cuthbert, our COVID-19 officer. Michelle has been absolutely superb in, in making sure we do the right things, making sure we have the updates, uh, still looking after players in terms of need physio, so, so Michelle, thank you very much. And then secondly, uh, our community officer, Don Palaccio. Um, <laughs> Don was, um, you know, our, our minis and youth are now up and running. The, the numbers over the last three weeks have been more than they were last season. Um, you know, and it's very, you know, it, there's an awful lot of work goes into making sure this happens, so, so particularly thank you those two. In, in terms of the future, the, the future is, is what Richmond does. We, you know, we survive really well. We will come out of this really strongly, um, but it's important that we all, you know, do our little bit to, to make sure that happens. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fantastic afternoon and evening. To the players who played this afternoon, you know, six teams of 14, 15 players, that's fantastic to see you all out there enjoying yourself. Thank you very much indeed.